I was discussing uh, gliders with Mr. Slater Harrison of sciencetoymaker.org and he suggested that uh, I might consider reducing the dihedral angle of my gliders, that doing so uh, would increase the, um, uh, the gliding distance. So I decided to give it a try. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you haven't visited sciencetoymaker.org, please do so. It is a wonderful site with all sorts of interesting stuff on it. Anyways, back to the gliders. Uh, as it happened, uh, I was about to make a new glider, so I did. And here it is. Uh, I cut it out, same pattern, and uh, put the, uh, the weight on the nose to move the center of gravity forward. And then I got the idea of, uh, why don't I try it just the way it is? It, it, it's not going to fly. I mean, it's flat. There's no control surfaces, uh, no aerodynamic surfaces to create lift. It's just going to flutter uh, or, uh, you know, like a, a piece of paper. But you never know. So I decided to try it. And I'm glad I did, because what I got absolutely was unbelievable. Here's what it looked like from my point of view. A graceful, stable flight to a perfect landing. Here's what it looks like from a side view. And yes, this is full speed. I haven't slowed this down to prolong the, the flight. Okay, uh, I'm at a complete loss. That shouldn't have happened. Uh, I got to looking at it, and you know, it's just flat. I mean, there's there are no control surfaces or aerodynamic surfaces, and I thought it was impossible that this could work. And then I took a closer look at the profile at the edge, and let me show you what I found. This is the end view of the uh, of one wing of a regular mosquito glider. In the instructions, uh, it tells you to bend down the first eighth or quarter inch or so uh, to create an airfoil shape. This is the front or leading edge of the airfoil. Uh, it produces lift by uh, through Bernoulli's principle, which says that the air has to travel slightly faster over the top than the bottom, so the pressure is lower and the airfoil is sucked up, literally, or pushed up if you prefer. Now all that makes sense. But let's take a look at the inverted airfoil glider and see why I'm so confused. Here we have the end view of the inverted airfoil glider and the orientation is the same. That is, this is the top surface, upper surface, and this is the leading edge. When I first looked at this, I thought it was perfectly flat. But what I noticed is that during the uh, cutting process, when I made this very thin piece of uh, of uh, foam. So evidently, there was a curve melted into the uh, shape of the foam. And you can see that here in the leading edge, it actually has something that looks like an upside down airfoil. Why this works is a complete mystery to me, but I have an idea. Because of this angle, we're getting a little bit of a stagnation point here, so that the air is flowing a little slower here and we're getting a, a slight increase in pressure here. Additionally, we have uh, the Bernoulli principle which says if it's flowing faster over the top, the pressure will be reduced. Uh, well, normally we see that because the airfoil goes up like that. Well, the principle is still the same. here. It has to follow this curve so that speeds it up and creates a, uh, a reduced pressure here and that the two working together create lift. The problem is, considering how well this works, and it has a better lift to drag ratio uh, than the original design, and the fact that it is extremely stable, why don't we see more of these on airplanes? Uh, but you know what? Uh, I'm just going to enjoy this as a, a little bit of a mystery and build several of these planes and enjoy flying them. And speaking of flying them, all it took to get them to fly in a nice circle to make them come back gliders was a very slight upbend in the left wing tip. And here's how it looks. As good as the flat mosquito is flying, I think the original with the turned down edge and slightly upturned uh, wing tips 
actually works better. At least it seems with the original Mosquito, I don't have to do so many deep knee bends to catch it before it hits the ground. But to be fair to it, it hasn't had any optimization. It was just a pleasant surprise. So uh, my next step is to uh, do some experiments to see if I can improve the lift to drag ratio and then have a fly off between it and the original Mosquito. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.